most exciting part of making the quilt, putting all the blocks together. Today in release 11, Sherry and Chelsea are gonna show you how you put all your blocks together from our Bloomtopia Quilt Along. Hi, it's Sherry and Chelsea and it's pattern release 11 day. And today, as you can see, we have all our blocks ready to go, but they need to be put in their proper order. So now we're going to show you how to take all these blocks and assemble them into your final quilt top. But first, just a little tip, it's really helpful if you have your pattern pinned or placed somewhere close by that you can see exactly where all the blocks will go. Awesome. <laughs> First, we're gonna assemble section one. Take the over and under block, the Bright Futures variation block, and the Lewis and Clark block, and put them together as shown in the diagram. Make one. Next, you're going to assemble the small duckling block, the small matchsticks block, the Sarah's Choice block, and the Carolina Lily block, and the Geese and Gander block. Make one. For the next section, section three, you will assemble two goose and gosling blocks, the large duckling block, the single magnolia bud block, and the large matchsticks block. Make one. Then you're going to assemble the evening star block, the Martha Washington star block, and the geese block. Make one. Now we're gonna move on to row assembly. For row one, you will put together sections one and two. To assemble row two, you will need to sew together section three, the corn and beans block, and the dragonfly block. Make one. For row three, assemble section four, the Richmond block, and the magnolia bud block, as shown in the diagram. Make one. Next, you're going to assemble the quilt center using rows one, two, and three. Sew those together and make one. Next, add the side borders and top and bottom borders as shown in your pattern. Thanks for joining us for Release 11. Come back in two weeks and we'll show you how to make the pieced backing. <laughs>